Hi there, welcome to Lesson 17. This week we will be reading the books Can You Find It? and Pam Pig. Our high frequency focus words this week are this and find. We also have some challenge high frequency words that you'll see in our stories. Let's use our words this and find in a sentence. Look at this big bug. Can you find a bug? Our challenge words for this week are the words from, came, but, on. Let's use those in a sentence. The bee flew from flower to flower. The butterfly came out of its chrysalis. It doesn't look like it, but this will be a beautiful butterfly. Do you see spots on the ladybug? As we read this week, we're going to talk about how the caterpillar in the big book changes. Our focus question to be thinking about is how do other living things change as they grow? We're going to discuss this throughout the week. Here's a write about it activity for you to do if you choose. Draw how a caterpillar becomes a butterfly and label each stage. You'll notice that this is the life cycle of a caterpillar. It starts with the egg, and then a caterpillar, and then the pupa, or the chrysalis, and turns into a butterfly, and then the butterfly lays more eggs. So that's what makes it a cycle, is that it keeps going on and on and on. Let's begin reading our first story. The title is Can You Find It? The title is actually a question. We know it's a question because at the end, it has a question mark. Our author is Randy Livingston. Randy Livingston is the person who wrote the story. Let's begin. As we read, we're going to point under each word as we say it. Ready, set? Min can fit in this. Min can sit in it. Find Min. Friends, who is Min? Yes, the adorable little duckling. What is Min sitting in? It looks like a little pot or a container for the garden. Let's begin pointing finger under the word Tim and following with our finger as we read each word. Ready, set? Tim can fit in this. Tim can sit in it. Find Tim. My friends, who is Tim? Yes, Tim is the cute little mouse. And where is Tim? What is he sitting in? Yes, he's sitting in a cup or a mug. Pointing finger under the word pat. Pat can sit in this. Pat can fit in it. Who is Pat? Yes, Pat is the bunny. And what is Pat fitting inside? The basket. Sam can sit in the cap. But the cap is big on Sam. Sam is the guinea pig. And what is a cap? Yes, a cap is another word for a hat. Pointing finger under the first word in the sentence. Ready, set. Tig can see me from this bag. Tig can fit in it. What can Tig fit in? Yes, Tig fits inside the bag. Nan can find Cam. Tag. Now Cam is it. What is Cam hiding in? Cam is hiding in a basket. 
Thank you for reading the story with me, friends. Remember, now that we've read it one time together, you may turn the volume down and go back and read it yourself, sounding out the words and pointing under each word as you read them. The title of our next story is Pam Pig. The author who wrote the story is Zev Herschel. The illustrator who drew the pictures is Liz Kalin. As we read this story, I'd like you to think about the characters in the story and what they are doing. Point under the word as we're reading it and follow along. Ready, set? This big pig is Pam Pig. Can Pam Pig find Pat Cat? This big cat is Pat Cat. Can Pat Cat find Pam Pig? Boys and girls, who are the characters that we've met so far in our story? Yes, Pam Pig and Pat Cat. Pointing finger under the first word. Ready, set. Pam Pig sat. Pam Pig came to find Pat Cat. Can Pam Pig find Pat Cat? It says Pam Pig sat. What did Pam Pig sit in? Yes, the car. And what is Pam Pig going to do? She's trying to find Pat Cat. Let's continue. Pat Cat sat. Pat Cat came to find Pam Pig. Can Pat Cat find Pam Pig? Friends, what is Pat Cat riding on? A bicycle. And what is he doing? He's trying to find Pam Pig. Pam Pig can see Pat Cat. Pat Cat can see Pam Pig. Pat Cat can sit with Pam Pig. Pam Pig and Pat Cat sat and sat. Our characters in the story were Pat Cat and Pam Pig. At the beginning of the story, they were looking for each other. They were not sure if they could find each other. At the end, Pat Cat and Pam Pig did find each other. What did they do after they found each other? Yes, Pam Pig and Pat Cat sat and sat. Thank you for reading with me, my friends. Remember, now that we've read the story one time through, you can go back to the beginning, turn the volume off, and read the story yourself. Be sure to sound out your words, Reread the sentences so they make sense and enjoy the story.